Well, Tamika, most people don't realize the dangers of drag racing, but one racetrack owner says safety comes first. Thousands of screaming fans have enjoyed drag racing at Holiday Raceway since 1968. One thing owner Chris Pate prides his business on is safety. Uh, drag race, racing is a dangerous sport on or off the track. Um, we try to regulate their safety equipment. We try to make them have roll cages if they run a certain speed. And if they run a certain speed, we also make them wear their helmet. And that's just for the race car drivers. <laughs> Spectators at the racetrack must also take safety precautions. Well, we have the retaining walls. We installed those. Um, we plan on um, installing even more retaining walls this season before we open up in 2016. Um, we also have safety equipment, um, fire extinguishers. We have a rescue squad here at every racing event we have. You saw none of that during Saturday's deadly illegal drag racing crash in Greene County. Investigators say the race began on a bridge on Highway 231. The two vehicles, side by side, hit speeds up to 100 miles per hour. As they approached Starlight Church, one car veered off into a crowd of people, killing three and injuring nine. The drivers, 22-year-old Maurice Wedgworth and 27-year-old Clyde Davis, are charged with three counts of manslaughter and one count of leaving the scene of an accident. It's very unfortunate. You know, um, they have places like this to go to. Um, some, some guys choose to just run on the streets. However, Bate says even on his track, accidents happen, but he says they're always prepared. Usually when someone has an accident, it's in a controlled environment, and we have our rescue squad here in case anyone needs any assistance. Now, drag racing season kicks off in March of 2016. But for now, reporting live from the newsroom, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.